Can you stay on hold? There's a stalker that has our numbers. And, um, sir, listen to me last night. You did not get a call from me last night. There's somebody else that does. You're in on it yourself. I'm just probably the most hacked, most spied upon, um, most censored person in American history. There's hackers doing it. They have your number. We're trying to get to the bottom of this because you're one of them. You have hackers up your ass and you're in a lot of trouble. I didn't call any numbers. That's about all there is to that. Because really bad hackers have your phone numbers and they're probably going to fuck you up. And I'm not a lady because I bring that stuff up because you have sucking hackers. So you're just another program puppet and they're just playing games with you. Try to get to the bottom of who has the blood of hackers on your hands. This is the stalker, isn't it? Clear. The preceding piece of music or audio collage was created out of sound bites that I clipped for a new bot called the Stalker Bot, which will be put into operation next week or two. This week's show was brought to you by Gordo, Dharma Wheelies, Benjamin, Big Boy Farts 666, Crispy 808, Despicable Dogs, Fancy Pants, It's Leon Motherfucker, Jesus Penis, Anonymous, MST3 Clay, Phone Losers of America, Turbo, the High Level Squirrel, and Parkman. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find us at immoralhole.com. You can find our live shows at immoraljuice.com. You can find our archived shows at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show by visiting patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia or visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Robert, thank you. This is Gilbert. Yes, hello there, sir. You're on the radio with us. How are you doing tonight? Uh, good. Who is this? Yes, this is Harry Fields with WWXYZ. And I'm calling in regards to the contest. You have to answer these three questions. Number one, how uh, many this fingers? Is, this, is a, uh, this is a work zone for uh, public safety. This isn't a personal cell phone. You're on the radio, sir. Just, just answer the questions. Yeah, this is a work phone for public safety. I answer the questions. You're on the radio. You're going to win big. All right, have a good day. Uh- Hello? Hi. Is this Tammy? Touch it. What's up? How are you doing, Tammy? Touch it. Y'all are crazy. Are you you all right, Tammy? Touch it. Jessica, how can I help you? Hi, I did Nunu the other day. Huh? I did Nunu the other day. You did what the other day? The so gay. What? Yeah, we're looking we're looking to order some food for the Nunu Cirque du Soleil brigade. They're here. Oh, you're looking to order food for Cirque? Yeah. yeah. Cirque du Soleil. You olé, want like olé, olé. You want like to go food? Yeah, can we go? I want to go. I need to make it go. How long till we go? It's been far too long since I made it go. I know, I'm so sorry. Maybe you should like make it go very soon. Oh, I need to make it go. How do I make yeah, it make go it. in my mouth? Oh, yeah, you should go do that somewhere else. I heard the green door is a great option for that. Go have fun. Oh, is that where you come from? No, but based off what you're sounding, it sounds like that place might be more of like your style clientele. So have a good time. Okay, Ben? Clientele? I'm looking for dinner. Okay, bye. And I never do. Lay, how many to see this evening? Hi, we're not wearing pants. Can we come in and get food? Some food? Uh, did you have a reservation this evening? Yes, we have a reservation, but we wanted to notate that we will not be wearing trousers of any sort. I mean, we're clothed, but we're not wearing trousers like your your, your thing said. They told us we uh, had to wear formal dining wear, and we lost our or we lost our shorts in the in the in the casino. We bet uh, yes, on the wrong horse. 
And for a gentleman, we do require pants shirt, sir. As our okay, but I have a long sleeve shirt on. Would it be all right if I like tore that up and sewed it up and turned it into pants? Yes, that's my look. A little here. funny. I'll come to do that for you. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Can you help yes. me sew it up? I lost very half good. my ass, so I've only got one leg on my pants. So I can still wear pants, but only one leg. I lost half my ass on that leg. Yes, as pants. long as long as gentlemen are wearing pants, that's fine. Is there anything else okay, I can help got you with? One leg. Thank you. Yes, with regard to the food, how many Flat spaces? Bad ass. Thank you. One moment. Oh, okay. We'll find out about the spaces. E-ho. 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 For security, this is Nate. Uh, we're looking for the spaces at the uh, the restaurant. I'm sorry? To rent some spaces? We're trying to rent spaces from the restaurant. Which restaurant? Well, what was it? It was a Chinese restaurant. Wing Lei. With no oh. wing? Yeah, flapping uh, wings? Uh, yeah. so let me I know, we, we were talking the about place. the menu and then she sent me to you. Uh, that's that's weird. Uh, yeah, this is the security department. Let me get you over to Winglay real quick. All right, thank you. Oh, okay. We thought you was the cook. Thank you. You sound stupid. Pigs are stupid. Oh my goodness! You can tell how stupid that one is. <laughs> But I think that this is a piece of shit music. Oh, I'm gonna get down, eat my chicken wing. Gonna chew on that chicken wing. Yes, the chicken wing, yes. If they ever come back. Take the little chicken you know. on the head. Rub a little chicken on the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to rub a little chicken all night. <laughs> right. Thank you for calling No Full Key. This is Carlos. Can I help you? Hello. Carlito. Hi, how can I help you? Hello, Carlito. Hey, how you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. How can I help you, sir? Oh, hermano, so good to hear your voice. Uh, yes, my brother and I, we'd like to place an order tonight. A food order, Axel sir? Paul, could you please help this man? Yeah. Axel Paul, help this man out, please. Yeah, we're, we're trying um, to go for- cottaging in your cottages. Do you have any cottages available for cottaging tonight? Hey. Where are you staying? Are you staying at the resort or at the Sunset Key well, Cottages? Well, yeah, we're out... We're we're at the cottage. Well, we were trying to get to the cottages. That's the number here, right? We just came off the boat. What? We're just here. We just we we swam here initially, and the the coast guard came along and they took us in the boat and they said you can't be swimming to the keys. You're gonna die. You can't do this. So they brought May us I back to the number sir? Very trail. And now they yes, just dropped us have off here. Yes, trail. Very dress trail May- and right back here, and we just need some help. Where are you located right now? Yes, I lost one pant leg. Well, we're here. We're you know we're walking up the pier here. Can you see it? May I have your I'm room waving. number? Oh no, we're not there yet. We're walking up the pier. We're, we can see you. I I mean unless that's not Where you. you? I'm hey. waving. Oh, oh, just show up to the hey. front desk and we will help you. Oh, we're here. We have um, a lot of luggage. Can you come here. out here and help us out? Please. This is um, heavy. I'm not Don't sure what's going on, sir. Things. Come out here. I'll show you my bag. There's no wheels on this. You just have to show up this to the front desk and we will help you here, sir, okay? Okay, but we, we're out here. Just come to the front desk and we will help you. Uh, I'll give you a tip, too. You can touch the tip if you just help us. There's no wheels on the baggages. His bag is swollen, is so full, and it has no wheels on it. Could you please mm-hmm. help us out? 
I'll give you a tip. Yes, sir. They have a wheelbarrow. I am not sure I'll where wait, you are, here. sir. I I'm at the front desk. Let I need me, you to show up to the front desk in order to help you. I cannot help oh, you because yes. I don't I know where you it. are. Can you just move a little yeah. more to the left? The second right here. Way. We're waving. Yeah. I'm going to send my security team over there and Hello? see what's going on. He will be okay. reaching you up. Tell the bellhop. Yeah, we don't need security. A bellhop. Thank you for calling high since you fear. I'm up here. No. Hello? Absolutely not. Yeah. Hi. Hi, how old are you, sir? Were you just trying to were you just trying to put me on hold? Uh no, sir. Okay. Well I need to book a room. I'm using my one phone call from jail to book a room with you. Uh for a moment, sir. No, no, please, I only I have a very short amount of time. Let's try concierge. I was going to say concierge. We can play yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Ocean Kiwi Center is fine. Dress speaking. How can I help you? Hey, why do you sound stupid? <laughs> what? Hello? Why do you Hello? sound stupid? What? How can I help you? Right. Yeah, right now. Can you answer me? Why do you sound stupid? Who are you? My name is Dwight. Yeah, and how can I help you, sir? Well, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to come and book a room with you and spend money and cash and all this with you, and you sound stupid. Why? Sorry? So can, you, you're can, trying you, to can you explain to me? Yeah. But what do you mean? You sound stupid. I'm just trying to understand why. Oh, touch it. We have lost to uh, musical resuscitation, and I really hate this song. Thank you so much for holding, Hello. sir. Can you repeat? Hello? Yeah, can, wh- uh, can why you do repeat? you sound stupid? Excuse me? It's not me. Why do you, yeah, why do you sound stupid? Sir, I don't understand what you're talking about. How can I help you? Okay, so so I'm on the telephone with you, right? We agree so far? Are are you on the telephone? Yes. Okay. All right, at least we agreed to that much. Why do you sound stupid? Pretty on the duck. Okay. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what are you talking about. Is there anything that I can I'm help? I'm talking about... Yeah, well, I don't know. Can you help sound as stupid? Thank you for you calling never heard anything like that before. How may I assist you? Hello? Hi. Hi, how may I assist you? Do you have the beefy tips? I'm sorry? The beefy tips? No. Okay, what do you have on special? Because that guy handed me a flyer and said you had beefy tips. Uh, we don't have anything on special at the moment. Okay, what is your most uh, what is your most acceptable racist dish? Like, what can be misconstrued as a racist dish? I'm not too sure. No, read through the menu and I'll tell you yes or no. Start from the top. Uh. I'll wait. Go ahead and grab a menu. Thank you for calling. Come take me with Sir Charles. We can help you. Thank you for calling. Come take you with Sir Charles. We can. Hi. Yes. Hello. How are you doing? Doing well. How can I be of assistance? I'm interested in uh, purchasing your room. One space for the night. Unfortunately, you would need to go and book um, online. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have that. I don't use the Internet. That's not something I my, I believe in. Can 
can okay. you make a booking so which, in the old fashioned way or like if I come in there do you like tell everybody oh go on the internet I can't do my job no sir is that I how just, it is well sir is that the way of the world it's a little bit yes sir that's the way of the world sir oh that's stupid I'm sorry I don't I, I don't have availability for this evening sir well Thank that's even so more stupid opinion, why sir? are you still on the phone hang up Not after the incident. Hi, right, we've had an incident. I'm not sure oh. how to go about dealing with the incident in the room. There was also an incident mm-hmm. outside. Um, and you may have heard of the incident in the uh, parking lot and garage there, yeah. There was an incident uh, in the shower. There was an incident in the toilet. And there was an incident on the sink. Okay, so what exactly was the incident? I, I'm I'm not aware of it. Oh, you didn't hear? I was a couple no. hours ago. There was an incident involving myself and uh, a glass bottle. There was an incident involving myself and a dog. Uh, a, uh, a another guest. They accosted me for for favors that I'd rather not uh, say over the telephone. It was disturbing okay. and disgusting. And they they included uh, uh, they, they, there was an incident in, involving my car. And it wasn't okay. my car. I didn't own the car. It was an Uber car, and they were there was an incident with the Uber driver. Okay. Um. Let me pull up your reservation. What's your first and last name? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold mm-hmm. on. There was an incident with the telephone and an incident with the woman on the phone asking uh, my name. There was an incident involving personal identity theft, uh, attempted personal identity theft. There was an incident. It just occurred on the telephone. And do- Hi, this is Issa with Bright Wild. How can I help you? Hi, ma'am. I this is the hotel, right? The front desk. Um, yes, but we are a property management company. We aren't really like a hotel. Oh, I need to let somebody know. I lost my bowels in the hallway. Okay. Um. Uh. Let I was walking. See. I I I was I was celebrating my Scottish heritage. I had put on a kilt uh, with no no knickers underneath uh, because I lost those at the bar. And then when I came back, I um I I I put my feet at approximately shoulders length apart. I began to lower myself to the floor in a squatting position, okay, I don't and then I lost I don't my bowels the on details. the floor. I don't need all the details, but um if you did indeed. I will um, That's message when I house began people. pushing my diaphragm in order to squeeze out the shit, and that's when it hit the floor. Okay, that is lovely. Thank you. Um, and now, there, now there's a smell and a doo-doo, poo-poo, caca on the floor. Okay. Um, and it I has can't the consistency of is... the baby food that they fed RoboCop in the movie. Okay. Um, well, if this is a joke, um, I'm going to need, you know, you to let me know because I do need to let housekeeping know if you did shit on the floor, um, so they can go and clean that up. No, I, I wish it was a joke, but I, I literally had to lift up my kilt cause I didn't want to get any on it. And then it, cause it, it made sounds when it hit the floor. Okay. Well, I am just going to message housekeeping. Uh, of this and um, yeah, I will. Will they come, let wipe, them will they come wipe wipe me? Ask them to come wipe me. <laughs> Good evening, oh. Seven and Court. May I help you? I I don't know. How strong are your hands? Hmm. Not sure. It depends. Well, I have a pickle jar up here, and I keep twisting and twisting, and it will not open. And my wife mm-hmm. is getting very, very I'm, mad at me, and she's emasculating me. I'm good at pickle jars. I can't open a simple fucking pickle jar. I can't 
such a fucking weak little bitch. I drink so much soy, I can't open a goddamn pickle jar over here. And now my wife's over here telling me I'm a piece of shit, and she's going to go and she's going to get pregnant by some homosexual down at the bar. Huh. What room are you in? I'll come open the pickle jar. I'm in two. I'm in. I'm in two fifteen, and these dill pickles are being a motherfucker. So uh, don't have a room two fifteen. What's your last name? Last name is Johnson. Stupid fucking sweet gherkin motherfucking pickles. Think they're so fucking great. <laughs> now they're shrunken up to little pieces of shit. They're actually really good, though. Um, let me... I bet they are. If you can not, get a fucking jar of them open, they're, they're mocking me. They're sitting there and I, fuck, I twist the top and they're sitting there laughing at me like, ah, you can't even get to us. Uh, like, my fork is useless. I can't even stab these little motherfuckers and pull them out, you know, because they're a fucking jar, piece of hmm. shit, motherfucker. Eight, four. But uh, that still doesn't... Uh, I, I don't have a Johnson under a reservation. So what could it be under her name? Her last name maybe or Yeah, yeah. Yeah, her her last name is Smith. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you're pulling my leg. I don't have that either. I don't I don't have time for that. I already have my hands full with one woman. I don't need a two. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what room she, you're in. I don't have a yeah, Johnson no, I'm, or a Smith. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, she, she already owns half my shit. I don't have time for more shit, you know. I Like, she's got half my shit. You want to have some of my shit, you got to ask her. All right, I'll tell you what. If you want to meet me on the walkway, I'll open the pickle jar. Okay, on the, on the walkway, how many minutes from now? I am walking out of the office right now. So I'll meet you on the walkway. Oh. I've got to make the, my rounds uh, around the pool. So are you in the mansion or in the, the cottage or? No, I'm in the cottage. Cutting the cottage okay. cheese. I'll see you on. Okay, okay, I'll see you on the walkway. All right, I'll be there. Hey, the Saint Joe Tokyo, this is Tom. How can I help you? Hello. Hi, I'm urinating. I'm urinating in the room. Oh, and that's nice. You got nice stream. You're doing a great job. Go ahead. Keep going. There's there's nothing to look at on the wall while I'm using the toilet. And I'm kind of disappointed about that. Okay. What's the room number? Yeah. 215. Yeah, there's like no art or... Yeah, there's no artwork. There's no, like, screen. What am I supposed to do while I'm sitting here? I don't know, sir. I'm going to uh, ask tomorrow my manager why we don't have into 15 in the bathroom art. Exactly. There's no. There's nothing on the wall. It's boring. I mean, oh, what okay. if I, what if I, 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 yeah, what if I get so bored that I fall asleep? And, and and stuff gets all over the floor. I mean, it's, it's a real problem, and I think you need to look at it. Hey, are you done okay. there? I got a poo. Open the I don't know. Would you like oh, me to send no, a ballman to see that? Open the door. Does he have art? No. I have a magazine. Open the door. Do you have anybody on staff that can draw? Like, maybe we can... Do Oh no! No, sir. I'm breaking through. Open the door. My roommate has got to use the bathroom, and he's not. What a shit! He's not very patient, so man. Open up. Okay, sir. Anything else that I can help you? If you would like, Open I can send the ball, and if you have any problem. Is there a museum in town? Like Open maybe up. I could go. Hey, can you get no, out sir, of here? No, sir. We are not. Kind of a conversation. Okay, go away. You're gonna have to pay for all that. I hope you know. Sir, what is the reservation name that you stay in the room? The reservation name? Uh, last name Man, first name Hugh. Uh, the which hotel are you calling? Yeah, the which. So where uh, where are you calling now? The uh, front desk. Yeah, but which hotel, sir? The, 
the front desk of the hotel. Yeah. Front desk of the hotel, but hotel has a name, yeah? You know, they have uh, picture frames Sir, what, at what the hotel? and Walmart. You know the Sir, Walmart? What, which the hotel Walmart. are you calling, sir? Can you please? I don't know, Walmart. Which hotel are you calling? You don't. What about the Target? Do you have a Target? Okay, sir. If you don't have anything else, can you please? I'm going to hang out the phone because sir, I don't understand what are you talking about. If, uh, if you have any problems, well, 215? Yeah. Okay. I'm asking you what the yeah. reservation is. We don't have that reservation. Yet. Sorry. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, don't hang out the phone. Sir, I have a check-in, sir. Oh, you are not telling okay. me what well, the reservation you know, name we have. Can you please tell fair, me what the reservation can, name? I told you. But at least if you hang out with the phone, it won't be as bored as I hope. Reservations, please press one. Thank you for calling Kimson Key West. Hello? Yes, thank you for calling Kimson Key West. How can I assist you? Yeah, Kippers. You have the Kippers in the can? I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong number. I called 411. They sent me to you. They said this is the hotel. I'm not sure. Kipper, Kimpton? Yes. So are you staying at the hotel? How can I be of assistance, sir? I'm just concerned about the canned goods that I found in the room. Are those put in here by you, or is that something that someone left? Like, are they I'm not sure what you're talking about. Them? What's what's your room number, sir? Did you need me to come to the room and find yeah, out? Yeah, what is um, it? I, I'm not I sure, you sir. I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I'm trying I was calling to, you uh, to find out. Okay, because I know that you called earlier trying to look for... I was told to call you because you had the room number. Sir, I don't have the room number. You tried to call earlier. Well, you tried to call earlier looking for a reservation, and now you're calling back asking for information. So I'm trying to figure out what you are talking about, sir. I don't think I called here. Yes, I have your phone number on... It shows that you called me earlier about, like, 20 minutes ago. What oh, is your phone it's number? Called, it's called color. What is that? Yeah. What is that? But it's your phone number. I'm sorry. This is... Finger got stuck in the hole. Good evening, H2O Suites. Uh, my, my brother got his finger stuck in a hole in the wall here. He said some sort of creature, like, trying to bite him. <laughs> right. He went after it. Which room are you in? Which room are you in? My wife uh, we only has have single. Keys. Oh. Which we only have uh, two-digit rooms. What's the name of the reservation? Johnson. Johnson. I said it. I said Here, use some mayonnaise. Here, take the mayo patch. <laughs> I don't see a Johnson here. under a reservation. Stuck all the way in the butt. Look in your trousers. Look in there. You might find it there. Look, I, I can't. I don't know which room you're in. You're stuck in there. Look under trousers. Look under trousers. Thanks for calling Santa Maria Suits. How may I assist you? So I was saying, just cut the lobes in half and... Uh, Jab the ice pick right in there. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. You didn't hear what hi. I was just talking about, did you? <laughs> oh, it you must have sounded the same. Ice pick in there? <laughs> yeah, we're preparing a sample, a specimen for a for a scientific study course tomorrow. We have okay. uh, we have, you know, we have rats and mice in our room here. We're just, you know, hooking them up to electrodes to make them dance and sing. Oh. We have a superconductor. <laughs> okay. He's a puppeteer master. Was, He's coming. I was wondering what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's really nasty in here, you know. Who am I speaking with? Frank. Frank Johnson. I'm Frank? here. Here yeah, where? I'm here with the study. I'm here with the study group. Where? 
here in the room. We're in the bathroom. We're just cleaning all the guts, you know, and the blood. Hey, you know, do you want me to put the IV in now or what? Yeah, yeah. You're at Santa Maria? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Put it in. Just tell him you're okay. I'll shove this IV so far in, I'm going to draw blood. Yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Just tell him. You'll pet him. Give him a nice uh, treat afterwards. He'll be fine. Arf, arf, arf! You know, what the hell is going on? Everything's fine. Everything's going great here. I, I got to commend you on your amenities here. The uh, the towels were clean when we got here. Not so much anymore, but, you know, the experiment's going just fine here. <laughs> Want to let you know we're very happy with Where the room. Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Oh, we're in the bathroom right now, but, you know, when we leave, you'll know. What hotel are you Because we'll staying? clean up. We'll clean up better than any other guests. We have a service that comes in and cleans the room. Um... But there was an incident earlier, and that's why we're calling. What there was a young child you that was he was looking through the window. Uh, that'll give you an idea as to where we are. Uh, he he noticed what was going on, and he he caused a ruckus. And we had to call in the service uh, to take uh, to take care of that problem. Uh, we we had an incident with the bankers who came by to to shut them up, and the bankers they went away. I don't uh, know hello? where they all went. Hello? hello. Hello. I'm not sure. Do you sure who you're speaking with? Yeah, you're the hotel desk lady. I'm the hotel Do desk lady. What hotel? Here? What hotel? Well, hold on now. What Let number? me get the paper here, because you know I I signed in, I got in, and we got in. Yeah, the I said in the first what, place. You know what hotel are you in? There's no more. Hold on, hold on. I'll get there. Hold on, just hold on a minute. <laughs> hey, get that IV out of that one. You gotta put it in the other one. Start it up. I don't have any cleaning supplies. It's going in unsterile. Doesn't matter. That's what she care. said. Well, we're in the center. All right, Maria. here we go. One hot beef injection. Okay, what room oh are you God. in? Well, I'd rather not tell you, honestly, because it sounds like you're trying to find out where I am, and then we're going to have a whole rigmarole, <laughs> and the whole thing's just going to go sideways, and we're trying not to make it go sideways. We want this deal to go through. The investors, you know how much time we spent okay. getting everything working for the investors? Okay. Don't want to upset the investors. Three weeks from from idea to to dancing animals to remote control. We, we yeah, well, tell me what suite are you in? in here. Wait. Do you Which want me to help you in? clean up the mess in there? No, 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 no. We have leafy blows for that. I have my my good old leaf blower. That'll clean things up real nice, real fast. You're in suite three? Running the room. Yeah. You got it. You figured it out. See, you have deductive reasoning skills. You figured me out. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not at the liberty to say because of the situation we got in here. Plus, I didn't book the room. What role. situation? I didn't book under the foundation. Well, the incident led to a situation, but don't worry. It's all, it's all cleaned up now. Okay. Yeah. Let me put my brother on. I, I I have to get to the cleaning of the skulls and the fuselage. What skulls? Uh, oh jeez. Oh the uh the cockroaches skulls. We're we're converting cockroaches into mice. We're putting their brains inside of mouse heads. I thought I said that. Maybe I forgot to. Hey, hold on one second. Yeah, you forgot. I gotta to. make a pee pee. Oh, Jesus. Have you made them talk yet? Made what talk? Steve. Who's well, he's Steve? trying to fix the mice. He's trying to fix the mice so that they know how to talk. He's doing the mice uh, brain transplant. What is going I'm confused. I'm coming over sweet three. This mouse knows no. too much. I'm going to cut its throat. No, we have to learn what it knows first, and we'll never be able to find out what it knows. 
right, I'm gonna I'm gonna electrocute this monkey here. I'm gonna pull the wires. No, the, the wires. Yeah, the wires are coming out have of you, the lamp. Have you questioned it yet? Not yet. That's where the electricity comes in. Oh, I see. You're gonna use the electricity to get the monkey to tell you what it knows. Yeah, it's gonna tell me about the mouse. It's gonna rat on the mouse after I shock the shit out of it. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh-huh. It's gonna rat on the mouse. That's yeah. that's funny wordplay, isn't it? Yeah, I like the Are you sure you're in CT? I'm at the door. What, what are you knock? doing? Knock. Yeah, tell her to knock. Yeah. I'm not hearing anyone. It looks like everyone's going like to bed. Yeah, we, we've uh, we've soundproofed the room. <laughs> You guys playing with, play with me right now. It's <laughs> alive! <laughs> ah, my balls! The hell? Oh my god. The, the, the monkey has turned the tables. It's shocking my what balls. Is, what is going on right now? He took a monkey and he, and he merged it with a mouse. And now it's Franken Mouse. Monkey. Guys, hello. Yeah. Are you gonna be serious with me right Hi. now? Do you need my help with something? That's my wife. There, the there is an abomination of nature in the room. So do you want me there to come a, to the room? There is an. Ab- well, are you prepared? I mean, stupid bitch. You need more power, Captain. Are you gonna tell me your name? So we have. Yeah, we have this abomination of nature in the room. It thinks it's both a mouse and a monkey. I don't know what to do with it. I want to fuck it. Oh, fuck what is it. your name? Uh, I told My name is Are you smoking? Yeah. Guys, I'm I smoking this joint. monkey. What, what's that noise? Are you guys smoking? Really that smoking? Like yeah, a, we got uh, marijuana. Fire. Mara motherfucking wanna Yeah, we're trying to get these frogs high. We're just doing what the kids do these days. That not that noise that I'm hearing in your background, I'm not hearing it where I am, so I think you're calling Woo! the wrong place. Shut up. Yeah, don't insult our intelligence like that. We know what we're doing. I'm being a jerk. I'm blowing marijuana smoke directly into the smoke detector. That's what you're supposed to do. Hello, Captain. Uh, yeah, no, I guys, I'm calling the front desk. Somebody stole the cummy bear. Hello? They stole it? Yeah, they stole the fucking cummy bear. Hello, ma'am? Which room number is that? 215 and the oh cummy bear is missing. Who would do such a thing? What's the last name? Oh. <laughs> the, what you, the room's name? 215. What's the last name? Last name is Johnson. What's your, with your potato phone? So we do not have Johnson on 215. Okay, what the room am I in then? With Johnson? The bear. Johnson, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, it was Hugh Johnson. Yeah. Or or huge ass. Yeah, see that ding confirmed it. Was that a confirmation? Yeah, confirmed. Are you calling to it the Capitan under, web? El Capitan? This is a hotel, Capitana Yes, I would. Yeah, so we're in the room and we're kind of bored. So I was wondering, I would like to charter a boat. Um, I want to. Calling for? Yeah, I want to sail the sea. Which hotel are you West. calling for? That one you just Hello? told us the name. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. El Capitan. We want to take the boat to hell. Yeah, I want to rent a boat from the hotel.
Thank you for calling Cartoon QS. Can I help you? Hello? Hi, I'm making a pizza. In the room. I'm sorry, sir? I need help. I'm trying to make a pizza in the room, and I ran out of toppings. Mm hmm. Yeah, do you have any um, uh, eggplant or uh, red pepper? Or uh, uh, is, zucchini. Are you calling? Are you calling Courtyard Marriott? Yeah, this is the front desk, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The you have the sundries, right? Like the toothbrush, the toothpaste, the razor. In case I forget those things at home. Mm -hmm, yeah, we do have that one. Yeah. I, well, I'm trying to cook in the room, and I forgot certain ingredients for making a pizza, and I was wondering if I'd come down and collect those. I also need a toothbrush and a razor, but I also need a belt For peppers. pizza, we don't have ingredients for that, sir. Wow. Um, there's a restaurant in the hotel, right? Um, we don't have a Starbucks, but the, they only open in the morning, 7 a.m. until 11. And we don't have oh, okay. a pizza. So, oh, they don't have pizza at the Starbucks? Um, no, nothing, sir. Oh, okay. Well, do you have any extra hot plates down there? Paper plate? No, the electric plate. You know the hot plate? It makes burn um, fire. No, sir. Um, nothing, sir. Okay, I mean, I could switch it up. I mean, I, I did pizza last night. Uh, I could do spaghetti. Do you have what any... Uh, room number? 215. But I'm I'm actually uh, also running a DoorDash operation out of my room. So I am I went online and I'm taking orders for Italian food. Mm -hmm. So I need to start cooking some of this stuff up because the... Delivery driver is going to be here soon. I need something to give him. All right, yeah, just stop by here at the front desk. For what? I need um. I need spaghetti. Do you have noodles or something? We don't have, sir. Uh, Windy seed. Yeah, tomato sauce. Wait, what was that piece of advice you gave somebody? Hello? Hello, sir? Uh, yes, senor. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, I asked you for help. Yeah. What is your room number? What is the last name of the reservation? Uh, the last name is mm -hmm. Man. First name is Hugh. And the room number is 215. Uh, we don't have two people, sir. Hey, you do. You don't even know you're in a hotel. Good evening, Havana Cabana. Mary speak. How may I help you? Hello. Hello. How are yeah. you? I'm fine. Hi. Mary at Havana Cabana. Yeah, I was wondering if you have a cabana for my Hannah. No. My my monkey, his name is Hannah. No. And he I hates don't. cockroaches. Okay. I heard okay. you have cockroaches there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you call the joke around or what? It's not funny at all, okay? May God be with you. I'm trying to make a room booking. But you come up here talking to me and think it's okay to go and say negative things and then laughing in the background. There's nothing negative. Uh, I'm telling you about my monkey. I have a pet monkey. I don't know what you want to know. I mean, look, I'm telling, I'm laying it out. Is it okay if I bring my pet monkey? Yes, no. Okay, then. Evening, Laureate. We'll speak in how can wow. I help you? I, I need to make a racist booking. There's a race car here. Race car driver. 
And he's a racist. Okay. So he hey, needs a room. Hey, brother, what's going on? I'll put him on the phone. He's been racing all day. I, hey, hey, sir, how you doing? I'm doing hey, fine. Hey, Corey LaJoy. Hey, I need a, I need a room for me and my race car. And your arrival day? Okay, can you can you accommodate my my stock car? Can you accommodate it in the room? Of course not. Of course not. Sir, that's unacceptable. I am Corey LaJoy, okay? I will give you the LaJoy special if I don't get a damn race car in my room. Good night. Let's be honest. Good evening. Thank you for calling Key West Marriott Beachside Hotel. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, loud, Hi. boisterous woman. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. I got my brother here with me. He's on the line. Brother, speak Hi. up. There he is. We're trying to figure out if you got rooms for tonight or tomorrow night and uh, when the peak times are to be there. Okay, yes, we do have rooms tonight. The starting rate is two ninety nine. All right. Um, you have rooms? Uh, Check-in. Yes, we have rooms. The starting rate is two ninety nine, sir. And that does not what co- include that does not include uh resort tax taxes parking is it in oh okay well is it like an aged artisanal rum or is it more like a off the shelf rum I'm sorry I don't know what that means sir you said you had rums available. We have rooms available. They start at oh. two ninety nine. I swear you said rum. I'm sorry. No rooms. Is everything okay there? Okay, rooms. Absolutely. Okay. Rooms. I'm sorry. Let's reset. I think you're calling calling a hotel. Mm. So Ooh. rooms. I thought I was call, calling Total Wine and More, but. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry yeah, you have the wrong number. But Thank do you. Have you have a tasting room? I mean, the green room. Good evening, front desk. Hi, front uh, desk. I'm from. Hold on. Hold on one second. There's a sure. fly on my nose, and I gotta smack it. Hold on. Is there a martial arts class going on? In my hotel, no. Oh, I just I thought I heard someone say, Come on, you can break that board, you little wussy. I'm sorry. Okay, good. I night. hear things. Okay. Sir? Don't leave us. Lonely. Lonely yeah. things. Yeah. Please hold while I try to connect you. It's been pretty fruitful. Calling Florida, man. And I think this song here is all about penises. Of entertainment at all levels. Above blow, harm, mind, clearly related. Who's out of hand in these? Justin. Who's out of job? Hello? Hello? Hotel Peter and Paul. Hey, um... Did the Mancini Sleep World truck pull up yet? I'm sorry? Uh, Mancini Sleep World, I had ordered a new mattress for my room. Um, no, we didn't get any mattress orders come in. Oh... Well, I kind of went on my own because I had complained earlier about the lumpiness of the mattress in my room, and they were like, well, you know, this isn't the Waldorf Astoria deal with it. So I was like, okay. So I just, I called up Mancini Sleep World, and they're like, oh, yeah, we'll deliver to a hotel. I was just checking if the truck was out front yet. 
Yeah, uh, they haven't arrived. Oh, okay, but you're totally cool with that? Like, no problems? Because they'll hold um, the mattress away. As far as I'm concerned, um, I don't know of any issue. You're cool that, with it? Yeah, from, as a front okay. desk attendant standpoint, I'm fine with it, as long as, like, you don't take anything from the room and the room is exactly how you left it. We should be all good. Well, I'm doing what my um, my uh, grade school vice principal said to leave things better than I found them. Um, so I, I think that's what I would be doing. You know, I, I um, found the room to have a lumpy mattress, and then I replaced it with a nice mattress. Right, but our mattresses, as long as you keep our mattresses and take the mattress that you got, we should be good. Oh, it's not going to work that way, actually. They're going to haul away the old one. I did oh, like no, what you originally were saying, oh. though. That Oh, see, because originally you said as a front desk person, it was like beyond the scope of your job. And I was like, oh, yeah, this guy knows how to stay in his lane. You right, know, like, right. Um, yeah. But if you're talking about taking away the old mattress, that I know for a fact that's not going to work. Yeah. You know, like, I was thinking maybe you'd, like, have a No Sinky Thursday or, like, Mental Health Mondays or, you know, you're staying in your lane. It's really good in the job, you know. Don't concern yourself with the things that I might do. I mean, I'm just a guest, you know. Um, right. And but, your you domain know, is, like, the up day, there. <laughs> you're making me aware of something that would be problematic for my coworkers and the people that I like. So it's not a matter of me staying. You in like my the lane. people you work with? Oh my god! It's it's a very strange yeah. concept to to understand. I know, but I do, and it would be easier for them if you didn't take wow, away. Wow, pretty awesome. Actually. Yeah, I'm very blessed. I mean, when I come home from work, I just constantly complain about the people that I work with. It's like, oh, do you know what so and so said today? I can't believe wow. that person's allowed to like speak. You know. Yeah. That's that's very unfortunate, man. I, I hope uh, I hope that changes. Yeah, maybe I you. could get a job there. Maybe, maybe I could get everyone. a job there. It sounds like you've got like a non toxic work environment. Absolutely, you know. I mean, shoot, maybe you could bring up the fact that you think the beds are lumpy, and then you could in- implement the change that you want to see in the world. Holy shit! Who said I needed to like get two college degrees and a white collar to change the world? <laughs> Yeah, man. All you need to know is that one better, one bed's better than the other. That's really all it takes. Right on, man. Right on. You're a very positive individual. I, I like try that. to be. <laughs> I try to be. There's no room for me. Now, if I do take life. the job there, if I do take the job there, though, could I work from home, like four days a week or something like that? Um, I think that depends on the position. Um, I think there are certain jobs you can get where it's like you can work from like your home answering emails and stuff. Really? Sure. Oh. I don't. I mean, with you know, with COVID, you have any, like, like every job's adjusted to that. Hmm. Do you have any like maids that work from home? Like any people who make up the rooms? No, unfortunately not. That'd no. be that'd be cool though, but no. No. Well, what I could do is, like, if I got, like, a front desk position, you could just put a laptop on the desk facing the customer, and I could, like, just, like, FaceTime or video chat with them and do everything from home. Hey, welcome into, you know, so-and-so. I know I'm a face on the screen, but, you know, my mental health is important. How can I help you today? Yeah. Does that work? We're inching closer to that sort of process where it's all... Holy online. shit. So, like, you're kind of one step ahead right now, um, which is oh, kind of crazy. Um, <clears throat> but that's, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. You know? Oh, shit. We're going actually a step ahead. Where you know? We don't even need people to, to, you know, check you in anymore, but... That's all right. I don't right. want to work anyway. We're your suck. I totally agree. I don't want to implement that. I don't want people. I don't want to put people out of work. 
Yeah, well, you, know you sure you got two business degrees? It's, that seems kind of counterintuitive to, to that. I never thought I had two business degrees. Oh, I, I have I a, I have, I have, I have, de- I have a degree in, um, uh, what is it called? Janitorial services. Yeah. Uh, I went to DeVry University. Oh, and uh, was that Phoenix, Arizona? No, that's, um, what the fuck is that called? Um, University of Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, okay, well, I guess, yeah. You should become, you should become thing, a huh? web developer. That's what they say. You know, like, uh, like they say, if you don't know what to do, you should learn to code, you know? Yeah, no, I've been thinking about but that. Then, but then thinking. AI is going to write, I don't know. You are, yeah. Well, AI is going to write all the code, apparently. I mean, AI is going to do, do everything. everything. Like, you can't even be an artist anymore, yeah. which is like the one job you think AI couldn't replace. But look at them. It's like the first job they replaced. You know, but we'll have so much free time to do drugs and masturbate that it's, it's <laughs> worth it. It's worth surrendering our lives to achieve. That's going to get automated pretty soon, too. Masturbation? Sure. They got robots and stuff, like VR headsets. Oh, yeah, those Japanese. You you don't even need to get out of your chair, really. What if those, like, fancy Japanese toilets just kind of did something extra for you randomly when you sat down? You talking about a bidet? Yeah. No, you know, they got those Japanese toilets that'll wash, wash your butt. Like yeah, that that's also give you a tub too. I got I got a bidet myself. Right, at home. butter. It's life changer, by the way. You gotta go. Yeah, I like to be a filthy American and smear shit all over my ass with paper. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. Each man his own. You have that right. Well. I should probably let you go because they could use this conversation against you as to why the robots would be better at your job. They'd be like, well, robots wouldn't have a side conversation. <laughs> Maybe. Robots would be all I, know, though. I feel like that defeats a lot of my purpose as a friend. If I can't do side conversations, then why am I even here, really? This is true. All right, sir. Well, you have a good one. You too. Make sure not to get rid of our beds now. It's the only thing I'm concerned about. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's, yeah, that's done. Yeah. Okay. Purple mattresses in every room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the... Okay. All right. On the house. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Now, you take care. All right. Have a good one. All right. <clears throat> I sizzle. <laughs> Hello, one of the Hello. 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 Yes. It's the hotel. Yes. I burnt the shit out of my sheets in here. I fell asleep with a cigarette in my hand. Yeah, I had a cigarette in my hand. I fell asleep, dropped it on the sheets. What what room are you in? I uh, down here one ten. <laughs> what? Yeah. We're on our way. We're on they our way. We'll be in the goddamn sheets. Keith has. Hello. Yeah, yeah, Hello? I got okay. right Hello? I got like, ten. ten Hi, Princess. Hello. We're making wow. keto cheesecakes in the room, and we just want to know if you want to come down here and eat some of our cheese. <laughs> Who's this? A literal <laughs> cheesecake. It's a party. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Milkman got his dick out. It's Milkman took party. his dick out and he's waving it around. Bye. No cheesecake. We're allergic to cheesecake. No, ma'am. We're allergic to cheesecake. No, no, ma'am. You're allergic. allergic. That's some bullshit. What about, Damn, what about these nuts? Chicken. Are you Damn. allergic to these nuts? Yep. Pet the chicken. Um, yes, of course. Pet that chicken. 
Yeah. I'm even allergic to oxygen. Are you allergic Sorry. to vaginas? Badass. Are you, Are you allergic? Like Good evening. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't Hi. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening, Hi, sir. Um, there's a problem. Oh, good, good evening. There's a problem in my room. I have a little problem. Okay. What's the problem? What property are you staying at, sir? <sighs> the, la- the landing hotel, the whatever, the one over there. Which one? The landing strip one. The landing or whatever, the one that's over there, but you see What's what your, happened was me and... What's your unit number? Huh? I think you got the wrong number, two, sir. What's your... What's thir- two, two, a uh, two, thirty-two. And you're going to fucking listen to me, man. You keep interrupting, okay? Listen. Me and my boyfriend, we're coming back from the party. we come coming to the party over here. Um, I'm a little drunk, and so is he, and he accidentally go under the pil- the blankets, and the pillow got in the way. Uh, I, I fucked the pillow, and I need you to bring us a new one and take this fucking pillow, because I fucked it already, man, so you're going to come get this shit, and then get the fuck out of my room, okay? Uh, we're not going. That's my, my chill, bro. Hop the bed. Start fucking pillows. Get it. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. Can you Good hear evening. me? Yes. Hi. I can hear you. Uh, there's a man out. There's a man outside of my room. Uh, I don't know if he's confused or what, because he's kind of an older gentleman. But he just came, he knocked on my door. He opened up his robe and he pointed his erect penis at me and is demanding money. Come on, just touch it really fast for a little bit. No, no. Listen, no. I'll give give you money to go away. Nah, it's okay. I gave you the money and just sing a little bit. That's he keeps, a he bit. keeps taking more of this little blue pill and he says it's going to get harder. It's going to get harder. I'm sorry about Come that. Come on. Hold on. Look. Let me ask your uh, name, please, ah, so I can... Ah, he me. Ah, 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 ah. I'm going to ah. poke you right now. I'm poking you. Go. Bend over. Hello? He's he's put it he's put it in my ass. Put hello, this shit hello, down, man. You fucking bite the pillow. Ah, 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 bite the ah, pillow. Ah, 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 Hold on, uh, yes. you fix, uh, let me. <laughs> yes, ah, keep biting the fucking pillow. Ah, yes, yes, ah, yes. Ah, ah, <laughs> I'm letting contact her. I'll call right back, ah, okay? I can't. Uh, 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 that fucking pillow. Uh, oh. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah. Love me. Love. I legit turn it Hello. off as soon as I'm done talking. Hey, um, Hello? I think you need to bring us another pillow because my friend, he fucking took a big bite out of the pillow. I'm sorry, uh, you're asking for what? Uh, the pillow tastes like anal sex and regrets. He took a bite out of the pillow, and we need a new one, so you better get your ass over here quick, man. You better get over here. Oh, Thank, you for calling the Dolphin Thank you for calling the Dolphin Orleans. Thank you for calling the Dolphin Orleans. Hi, um, hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Can you hear me or or no? Or what is going on? I can hear you. This is the Dolphin Orleans. Okay, cause the man from the from the hotel, he says he works with you guys. He came into my room. He knocking on the door. He come in. He gonna bring me the pillow, and he's he hasn't left my room. He tells me he wants five dollars for the pillow he brought me, and I told him no, and he's still right here. He's still right here. What the fuck is you that? You in man? on sense security listen, right now? Li- listen, what guys, room are you in? Five dollars right now. I'll let you bite a piece of the pillow. And then I leave. Five dollars, you bite the pillow, I go. What room are you, you in? You guys do this all the time? You 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 charge for the you pillows? In? Is that what you guys do? What what room are you in? Hey, hey, tell her tell her I'm here. I work with her. Tell her to be quiet. I'm doing the pillow thing for he, five dollars. He said to be quiet because he's working for you guys too. So what the fuck is going on for over this? 
Thank you for calling High Central for this. I'm Mrs. Hill. Come on, why does the person, he threw the, the necklace at me and he told me to take off my shirt and show him something under my shirt? What is that? I'm sorry? Hello? The Where? man, he working for you. His name is Dwight. He's right here still. He gave me these necklaces. Look, look these at my pearls, name tag. Look at my name tag. And he tag. told me to take work? my shirt off. I'm sorry, sir. I can't understand you. Hi, it's, Are you it's, stupid? Du it's Dwight. I work in maintenance. I have my name tag on, and I told this man to raise his shirt up and show me something underneath, and he won't do it. So we're going to have to kick him out. He told me I have to show him something under my shirt because he gave me the necklace. And I said, no. And he told me, hey, you want to fucking stay here? You need to show me. What is this? I'm sorry. You're, you're our maintenance? I'm with maintenance, yes. He's a guest. And I told him he's got to show me something. I said, show me your nipples. I don't sorry, sir. What, 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 what's from. your They're room number? Hairy. What's your room number? Maintenance. Maintenance. I'm I'm in I'm in the maintenance room. I'm in the maintenance room. No, sir. We don't have any um. We don't have any other maintenance no. here in the property right now. I was just making the point that you're adding too many syllables. It's maintenance. Not maintenance. You see? Maintenance. Really fast, say it. Yeah, you know, listen. You know, listen. Fuck, you know, listen. Fuck. Ma'am? Thank you for calling the Historic Hotel Monteleon. P is speaking. How may I assist you? Hey, why you sound stupid like that? Hey, look, the... The salsa the old piece of shit. Thank you for calling Historic Hotel Monteleon. P is speaking. How may I assist you? Hi. Are the bed sheets historic? Because they're really old and dingy. In my Thank you for calling Historic Hotel Monteleon. P is speaking. How may I assist you? Hey, that's an appreciate you hanging up on my son. He called you for uh, a reason. Uh, look, 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 Can I help you? Um, your lady just fucking hang up in the phone on my son, and you don't listen. Excuse me. I said you don't listen. See what I mean? You don't fucking listen to me. God damn it. Okay, don't curse at me. You are not welcome here. Okay, you or your son. Goodbye. Thank you for calling Hotel Monteleon. Emily speaking. How may I assist you? Uh, hi, Emily. Uh, my dad just called, uh, and we, he said that we're no longer welcome here, and I just wanted to check and make sure, because he doesn't understand English very well, and I want to make sure I don't sure take that kindly to people cursing out me or my employees. I'm the manager. Oh, was he cursing? And the, oh, my yes. God. I'm sorry. Yes, he was. He, you see, when, when he moved to this country, I was born here. When he moved here, all he learned was curse words from watching Eddie Murphy uh, comedy specials. That's and not so an that's excuse. You're calling a place of business and yeah, cursing out the employees. I agree. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And I was just calling to apologize. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dad, no, they're going to kick us out. See what I'm saying? Goodbye. Have a good night. Good evening. Thank you for calling Club La Pension. How may I assist you? Yeah, my asshole is exposed out here, lady. I got to get some answers. Sir, Excuse would you me? please pull up your pants? Yeah, my Hello? my asshole is exposed. Hello, sir. How may I assist you? Exposed. My asshole is exposed, sir. I'm would you please in the wind. pull up your pants? Sir, let the lucky man have a helper. Hey, why do you sound like you're dead inside? Hello. So that the luck in, how am I helping? Hey, you drunk bastard! I asked you a question. <laughs> what are you what, doing? Man? You drinking what? at work? Yeah, you drinking on the job, homeboy? 
Man, nobody drinking, man. You sucking dick on the job? <laughs> Are you smoking? Are you smoking weed on the job? Hello. 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 How you doing there, you old bastard? Oh, you playing? Uh, yes, all right. Oh, huh? Hi, this is Mr. Touch It. Here, my friend wants to talk to you. Oh! Your friend wants to talk to you? Ah, yeah, hi. Who's your friend? Oh. Uno. I don't know who that is. My name is Uno. Hello. I'm not touching anything. Touch it. What the fuck it. is this? Touch it. Can't fit in this piece. Don't this. How can I help you? Hi. How are you doing today? Hello. Hi. My name is Chad Pennington. Hi. My name is Chad Pennington. Um... I'm staying, I'm visiting one of the guests, staying in one of the rooms. His name is Dwight. And I need to know if I can get a key card so I can go into his room. Because he's being a little feisty right now. Can I get a key card to get into his room? You would need a key card to get into any room. I'm saying he's being, he's playing hard to get right now. Can I come down there and get one so I can see my man? Uh, if your name's not on the room, I can't get you a key Dwight, card. I would need an ID. Door. Open the door! You knock on my door again, I will suck your fucking dick through the keyhole. Do it, sweet cheeks. Do what, it. What room Open are you door. in? Open the door. What room are sorry, you in? Man. I'm sorry. He's like, I'm in uh, 215. 215? You're calling the wrong address. We don't have a 215. No, I'm, shut the fuck up. Yes, I'm calling the right address. I'm, I'm, you're the this is the Hilton, right? No, this is are you, which address do you think you're calling? I know what address I'm calling. Don't try to don't try to oh, no, no, no. don't try to cross examine me. Oh, in the courtroom. No, no, no. I need a fucking roadway in front desk. How can I help you? Oh, hi. Jesus. This is my brother. Oh, we we're wondering if Ben was hello. there. Yeah, I'll put you on with him. Here you go. Hello? Hello. Yes, listen, I'm looking for a Ben Chode. I was supposed to meet him. We met on Grinder, and I'm going to suck his dick. Sorry? I'm looking for a Mr. Ben Chode. He's staying there. What room is he in? Ben Chode? Yes, Mr. Ben Chode. I don't know. Because uh, me and him may have an agreement on the Tinder. We're going to suck each other's dicks. They're flaccid now, but they'll be hard later. Sorry, whom do you calling and wh- what are you asking for? I'm looking for some Ben Chod. Sorry, wrong number. Are you Ben Chod? Hello. Hello, this is the old library that I think you just called me. Hello. Hello? Can, can you speak a little louder, please? Yeah, yeah, yes, this is, the old, this is the old library in Arasig. You just called me. Let, let me press the button. Sorry? J- just a minute now. Huh? You just called me a moment ago. All right. I can hear you a little better. Yeah, you just phoned me. You called me. All right, now who are you? The old library in Arisig in Scotland. Are you? Hello? Uh, uh, where are you calling from? From Scotland. Did, did you come all the way? Hey, 
Hello? 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 Yes, hello. Yes, hello there, dear. Look, I've been trying to get in touch with you. I was in the wheelie bin when I lost my... Oh, who the hell may help? You, you know what? You, you know why you? you can help me? You can help me by shutting the fuck up. And get me a fan in here. It's hot. Okay, you want a fan? What room are you in? What? What room are you in? Why you got a jackhammer going? Hey, why you got a jackhammer going, jack off? If you would like a fan, I need to know what room you're in. Uh, I'm in room 215. And most of the and I just need someone to co- I just I just need someone to come to my room and tell me I'm doing a good job. I need that type of thing. <laughs> and what's the name of room two fifteen room? Johnson. <clears throat> you think you could do that, baby? Thank you for calling Dr. Foster. May I help you? Hi. When I'm there, do you have a pubic record? A what? Uh, all people that come by, the pubic record? I'm not understanding what you're speaking of. When I when I sign my name, like, is there a record that I was there and my pubis was there? Um... I guess, uh, yeah. is there Is there a registry for the pubic lice? What is that? Uh, it's these little creatures that live in your hairs. Because I got in trouble once. I said I was a carrier. I had to be on the list. I have no idea what you're talking about. We have no the Pubic clue. lice? No, no idea. Have you ever had pubic lice? No, sir. Would you like to? No, sir. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. I'm sorry. I'm ending this I'll take you out have on a, good a day. nice day. day. We'll have a dinner. La Quinta, Rachel. Hi. I, I wasn't sure if you'd answer because sometimes they say it's too late at this time of night. And I was just worried that you wouldn't answer because I need a room. I've got room. All right. You got one between here and there. Maybe to the side there. I like to sit on the sides of the street and the sides of buildings, like where it meets the corner. Um. I like when I wake up, there's two sets of windows, not just one. I think our rooms only have one window, babe. Oh, dear. Well, how about this? How about I I rent one room, you rent another room. I can wake up and look at a different a different window. That would be two rooms. Means you'd have to pay for two rooms. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can come and stay in one. And I'll stay in the other, and we can switch and swap, and switch and swap. And we can see the sunrise and the sunset, if you get what I'm saying. Mm. Do you want a room or not, babe? No, I'm just playing. Have a good night. Really? Really? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Hey, how are you doing? My name is, uh... Uh, Derek Lopez. Hey, I'm staying in one of the rooms. Um, are you? I need. I have a question about the sheets. Okay. Hello. Yes. Are you inside the refrigerator? Sorry. Hello. Hey, I have a question about the bed sheets. You know the bed sheets. I have a question. Bed sheets, hello? Are body are they body fluid resistant? Like are they body fluid resistant? Like if if like if if body body excrete onto sheets, will they be resistant and fall off onto floor? 
Hello, excellent. Exactly, 100%. Hello? Hello. Hi, I'm I'm making toilet gravy with my son in the room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi! He took all the toilet paper, he threw it outside and unraveled it all. So I wonder if you have more toilet paper. It looks like oh, yes, it is. So the problem is he's been drinking all night. It's his first time. And the lady that came over that he was supposed to, you know, have his way with, she never showed up. We were wondering if you could play the part. What? Do you need you do you need toilet papers? Yes, toilet paper at one uh, lady to go with uh, cheese. Thank you. Please and thank you. She better be hot. Okay, if you really need the toilet paper, I'll just come down to the front desk and get them. Can you can you come and take my son's virginity for me? Yeah. Hi, this is Super. Am I helping? Hello, sir. Hey, I'm staring in your rooms right now, and I have a bit of a question. Me and my boyfriend uh, got into an argument. Are you? Are we allowed to take in uh, emotional support animals? Uh, we, um, is it like a service animal, or...? I'm sorry, what? Is it like a service pet? Because you only take like service pets that has like yeah, you know, it's, it's an emotional support pet. I it, I have emotional support pets. They're like I have them in like little aquarium. They're uh, emotional support roaches. Uh, and my boyfriend says that I can't take them in the room with me because they might get out. What kind of what kind of um, animal is it? Cockroaches. Cockroaches. <laughs> No. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, if you have, okay. if you have like, um, the only way we can take it is if you have like a paper works for it. Then yeah, we can take it. Well, I, I don't mind. But if you don't have any paper works for it to show it, so yeah, it's an emotional support um animal, we won't be able to like check you in. Uh, well, I don't exactly have papers for them, so, like, should I just... I'm just going to open up the cage and just let them out then, because I don't want to deal with, like, any... I don't want to get in trouble for having them in here, so I'm just going to... I'm shaking the cage out right now and letting them out, if that's all right. Okay. Uh, all I'm just going to say is, you know, just mm-hmm. try your best so it doesn't... Drums. All right, well... I, they're all out now. I just I just shook them out. They they ran between the the uh, batter and stuff, the sheets and all that. So uh, I think I think, I think it should be fine. I don't have any more anymore in here, so I shouldn't have to pay any fines or anything or extra money to have them in the room, right? Like the pets. The roach. Um. No, I mean it's just a roach, so no. Then I gonna. No, well, there are more than one roach. There are like a hundred roaches. Uh, yeah. I just want to even know more than a hundred, which is, uh, my boss is going to really, she's going to, you know, ask you to How pay would you for put your me? boss on the phone right now? Because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why the hell should you have that much roach in the room? Because they're emotional oh, support brother. roaches. They make me feel good and comfortable. Okay, if you say so. Um, but um, since you said it's a pet or like emotional support, I don't know who you talked to before, but usually uh, if you don't have paperwork for any animal you're coming in with, we won't let you check in with it. And if you go ahead and do that, if you go ahead and check in just like that, you're going to be you know, charged for... Checking in uh, an animal without uh, pepper works. Uh, right I don't now, have them. Uh, I don't have them any. I ha- I don't have them anymore. They're gone. I let them go. They're, I don't have them anymore. So there's no charge for animals now. You let I I, I seriously understand. You let them go inside the room or no? Uh, that's that's a good question. So are they in the room or 
we have to let even know. What did you just say? I'm sorry, can you speak up? I can't hear you. I said, are the roaches in the room right now? That's a good question. It's a very good question. Uh, and then, yeah, you deserve an answer, right? I'm sorry, yes, First that is, I, I don't know what you're saying. What? I'm not right now. Okay, you come up to the room right now. I'll let you in and I'll show you. What room number is it? I don't think I can come into the room right now. But what room number is it? 117. Uh, 117? That is correct. And what's the name? Well, the the name is under my boyfriend. Uh, so I don't know what, what he put. I don't know if he put his maiden name or if he put his uh, real name or or his current name or what. But you can okay. just come up right now, just knock, and I'll let you in. Okay. 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 Alrighty then. Take care there, sir. Bye. Bye. Uh, who the hell comes through? Hi, this is Super. Am I help you? Oh my God, I'm glad you answered. Listen, um, I have I'm in my room and like I left a little bit of like a couple of food containers out. There seems to be I, I think I've attracted cockroaches in here because uh, they're they're crawling all over the food that I left. I had, it was a container from yesterday. I come back uh, today after I went to a meeting and like cockroaches are in my room, they're on the bed a little bit, but definitely they're attracted to this container. Um, what room number is this? I, I'm in, oh? I'm in uh, two, 211, yes, hi. 211? Yes, ma'am. And um, you said you have roaches in the room? Yeah, there's roaches in here, and and I'm sorry for attracting. Like I thought I was a rather clean person. I didn't think leaving one food container uh, like it was some old tacos. Uh, I didn't think that that I would do that. And I'll be more than happy to pay for the for the cleanup or extermination if you have to. Like I I didn't mean to do this to you guys at all. I apologize. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna leave a note. Uh, you know, regarding everything you said, so tomorrow morning my boss is if there's going to be a fine or a charge, she's going to let you know how much you're going to pay or have to pay. Cause yeah, I, just let them know. I I left I left a lot of a lot of not a lot, but it was one container of uh, of tacos, and I I must have I don't know I left uh, the window open a little bit. I don't know maybe the roaches got in that way, but they are they're on the food. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, I, mean, I can bag them up and, and throw and throw them out, um, but I still don't know if it's going to take care of your guys' situation. I don't know if they've gotten into other parts of my room uh, or what or where they even came from. Uh, I mean, they're they're they they seem to be. I, I don't think they're normal cockroaches because I saw a, a group of three of them pick up one of the tacos I left in there and carry it off. Like they took it out of the container and just left. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do right now, but um, this is room 211, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. And and like I said, I've I've never had an issue. Uh, like, like, this is definitely not my first time leaving uh, discarded food out. Like, I was going to throw it away when I went outside, and I forgot it. Uh, but it's never happened to me before. It seems like these, these cockroaches just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, I'm so sorry about that, but um, uh, seriously, there's nothing it, it, I can just, I, I don't know, because like, I turned on the lights, and normally they would scatter, because I, I used to live in New York City and had some experience with this, but the cockroaches seemed really tame, like they were someone's pet. Like, they listened when I said no, they stopped. Hmm. Okay, um, I seriously don't know what to do about the roaches tonight, but then, um, uh, let me see, and you're in 2.11? No, no, put it down. 
See, they stopped. Now, let me just request you, Uh, You said it was room 211? 211, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't have anybody in room 211. Are you sure you're calling the right hotel? Huh. Yeah, well, I was in I was in 219, but they moved me because I had an issue with, uh, there was a leak, plumbing leak. Uh, the, the faucet for the sink, uh, you know where you twist the handle, water was coming out of that. They said there was a seal issue, and they moved me down to 211. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you're call, yeah. calling the right hotel uh, because I don't okay. have anybody in the You you don't you don't, you don't you don't it's not working. It's not oh hey oh fuck ah ma'am the cockroaches are trying to carry me away ah 